I absolutely love scuba diving. I've been scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. I went in Kenya. And most recently, I went in Mexico when I was visiting Cancun. I just find it so unbelievable to be under there in that quiet blue ocean and just swim around and experience what it's like to be like a fish. <laughs> and the beauty that lives under there is just out of this world. Literally, it's like from another world. <laughs> Every time, I've just left in utter amazement. And it puts into perspective for me just how vast the world is, how much is out there, and my problems and worries can seem a little less important and troubling to me. And that makes me feel good. <laughs> so when my client asked for a cake that had a painting of him and his girlfriend scuba diving underwater, I was super excited to create this cake. My name's Melissa and I'm an artist. I create cakes, sculptures, and a lot of other cool things. In today's video, I'm going to be painting a cake with a photo of a couple scuba diving underwater, and I'm going to be adding a little coral reef on the bottom to create that magic of this beautiful, colorful underwater world. But I'll let you see for yourself. Let's create this cake. I'm starting off with my eight inch tier cake that I've already stacked, filled, and sealed with a coat of ganache on the outside. So all that's left to do is cover it. Typically, I cover my tier cakes in fondant, but in this case, I'm covering it in modeling chocolate. And that is because I'm using gel colors to create this underwater visual image. And it's much easier to paint on modeling chocolate with gel colors than it is on fondant. Because I'm using the modeling chocolate, it's much harder to drape over the cake like I would with fondant. So instead I do what's called the barrel technique. First you cover the sides of the cake with one piece of chocolate, and then you cover the top of the cake with a circle of chocolate, and then kind of blend the two seams together and you get a perfectly covered cake without doing the draping. I create a pencil transfer by tracing the image of the couple scuba diving on a piece of parchment paper with pencil. And then I flip it over and press it on to the side of the cake where I want the image. And when I pull away, it leaves a perfect transfer of my image on the cake. Like I said, I'm using gel colors to paint this cake. So I'm using white, blue, turquoise, and black as my main colors. Because gel colors are much thinner, they work well as a watercolor type base on your cake. When you want to thicken them, you're going to need to add that white into all of your colors except for the black. So all the blue that I'm painting on, I mix in a little bit of white with the blue to make it thicker, more opaque, not as translucent as I paint. And I've got this beautiful image of this couple scuba diving under the water. And there's a very nice light source that is placed on them. So that's where it's going to be the brightest. And then it darkens, fades into more of that blue ocean background as it gets farther away from them. The couple is the easiest to paint because they're just solid black because they're really like a shadow in the vast ocean. So just plain black gel color there and just very gently following the image and creating the exact shapes that I see and that I transferred on to get the look of this couple scuba diving underwater. And because I only had that front image to work with, I'm just making up the back of the cake as I go, which is a lot of fun. And to make it flow nicely on the cake, I use that spiral that's naturally created in the image on the front with the light in the dark and continue it around the cake in a way that it flows really beautifully from light to dark throughout the cake. This cake is all about contrast. It's all about those lights and those darks. The lights are gonna be the whites and the lighter blues, and then the darks will be my darker blues and my blacks. And as I go, you've got those large pockets of light, those light blues. And then I do a nice little fade by brushing back and forth and darkening my color as I go into these darks, those recessive areas. The cake reminded me a little bit of Starry Night by Van Gogh in the way that he painted those spirals of lights and darks in the sky to create that effect. I wasn't trying to mimic that, but when I looked at the cake at the end, I saw that vibe throughout, those painterly brush strokes and that light and dark spirals around. <laughs> there was no actual coral in the image that my client sent me, but I thought it would look really beautiful to add some coral and seashells on the bottom to represent all of that beauty that they're seeing in the ocean and give that extra pop of color to this cake. I used these coral and seashell molds that I had already and pressed some modeling chocolate into them and used different bits to build up a beautiful coral scene right along the base of the bottom of the cake on the front and a little bit on the sides. When it came time to paint the coral reef, I decided to go with bright pops of color, probably even more color than you would see when you're actually underneath looking at the coral. 
but I just wanted to really create that bright contrast against the blue and to look super beautiful and remind you of the beauty that's underneath that ocean to inspire myself and others to want to go scuba diving and snorkeling more. <laughs> and I felt that adding that coral elevated this cake, brought it more to life and made it even brighter and really complemented the painting itself. And by the end, I was so blown away with this cake. It came out even better than I expected. Every angle looked beautiful from the front, from the top, from the sides. I was so proud that I was able to create a whole art piece out of this one image that was sent to me. It's so fun when I really connect to the subject of a cake that a client wants because I love scuba diving, the water and nature so much. I was really able to create this expression of myself and what this couple loves so much through this cake, which made me feel connected to this cake even more because I love love. <laughs> I also enjoyed the challenge I put before myself by using this gel color paint, which is more of a watercolor based paint in a way that it was much thicker and more like an acrylic or oil based paint, which I was able to achieve by thickening it with that white paint. And in the end, it had a very painterly gorgeous vibe with lots of brush strokes, but because of that watercolor effect, it had that light shining through, which made it feel even more water like and actually like we're in the ocean. <laughs> If you enjoyed watching me create this scuba diving cake, please give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe for even more amazing cakes and art pieces to come. If you want to see the entire process of me painting this cake from start to finish, check that out on my Patreon linked below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little journey underwater with me <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.